verändern. Und in mehreren Strömungen sind viel stärkere Klimaänderungen als das Grönland-Eiskap selbst. There are still many unknown factors in the climate equation, but Konrad Stefan and his colleague Jade Zwally believe that climate change will probably turn out to be greater than was previously assumed. They analyze satellite images which show the speed at which Greenland's ice is thawing. The two scientists estimate that the sea level will rise by at least one meter by the end of the century. Even that would cause entire islands and regions to disappear from the world map. Yet the consequences of the climate heating up to such an extent that the Antarctic ice cap would also start to melt on a major scale are far more serious. The same applies to the snows of Kilimanjaro, seen here on satellite photos, and to the glaciers of the European Alps. At present, Greenland is the more important of the two ice caps. It is reacting. More water and more ice is flowing into the ocean. The Antarctic, on the other hand, whose ice mass is ten times greater, is in extreme danger of reacting in a similar way to Greenland if global warming continues. Almost in desperation, Konrad Stefan has pointed out this link time and again over many years. Like the Inuit, he is a direct eyewitness of massive climate change. Here in Greenland, this change is well advanced, and it has only just begun to have a radical impact on our world. We simply have no choice. Step by step, we must reduce the emission of greenhouse gases.